in yoga, we believe that digestion goes beyond the food that we choose to put in our bodies. Digestion is how you interact with the world, how you connect to the things that happen around you and to you, and how you digest them, how you come out on the other side when life struggles show up. Hi, I'm Laya. Welcome. This practice today is designed to help you connect body, mind, and energy in order to know how you feel, which is very important when we are moving through difficult times in our life, whether that's physically, mentally, or emotionally. All you'll need for this practice is two blocks, perhaps a blanket and a yoga mat, but truly, if you have yourself and that's all, you will be absolutely fine. Just bring yourself to a comfortable position. You could sit down or lie down. Taking a moment to notice the parts of your body that are in contact with the ground. Creating a little bit of movement, maybe with your neck or your shoulders or your arms or whatever you want to move and stretch. And then letting yourself settle into whatever posture you have chosen. Letting your gaze soften down toward the ground. You could also choose to close your eyes. Give yourself a moment to become aware of the sounds around you. the temperature of the space you're in. And your ability to observe what's going on right here and right now before your mind flees or wonders. Take a deep inhalation through your nose, letting it expand into the belly. Open your mouth and let it go. Inhale, noticing the belly expand. Exhale, letting yourself soften and ground a little bit more. Inhale, connect to the gentle expansion. Exhale, soften and observe the gentle contraction. Let yourself arrive into this practice. aware of what's going on around you, but starting to commit to noticing also what's going on within you. Becoming aware of the edges of your body, the parts of your physical body that may feel tight or uncomfortable, but also the parts of your body that feel open and relaxed and well. Take a deep breath in through your nose, this time expanding your belly, but also a little bit into the ribcage and the chest. Open your mouth and let it go. Inhale, expand your belly, your ribcage, your chest, letting your spine grow a little taller. Open your mouth and side out. One more just like that, inhale. Let go. Allow your hands to remain where they are, or if it serves you, perhaps you bring one hand to your abdomen, one hand to your chest. Giving yourself a moment to perhaps ask yourself, what is it that brought you to this practice today? What do you intend to invoke or embody or let go of or explore? And I invite you to consider within this theme of World IBD Day, how do you digest the things that happen in your life? Take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Let go. Release your hands if you lifted them. Notice the parts of your body in contact with the earth and let yourself settle in a little more. Grounding down through your sitting bones, through your legs. 
And on your inhalation, imagining energy rising from your sitting bones up the spine and all the way up to the crown of your head. And then on the exhalation, start to bring your right ear toward the right shoulder, stretching to the left side of your neck. You can stay there or extend your left arm out to the side. Breathe in. Breathe out, release the hand, bring your neck back to neutral. Notice your foundation. Inhale to rise and grow your spine tall. Exhale, bring the other ear toward the shoulder, opening to the right side of the neck this time. Maybe extending your right arm out for a moment to notice how that feels for you. Breathe in. And breathe out, release your hand back down, bring your neck back to neutral, take your arms out to the sides and stretch them up as much as you want. Interlace your hands and flip your palms up toward the ceiling, stretch out, inhale. Allowing the body to continue to expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And on your exhalation, release the vine and bring your hands down by rolling your wrists. You can keep your hands open or you could make fists. And then release your hands all the way back down to your legs, your knees. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your left hand toward your right hand, taking a gentle twist. Now you could stay here or continue to twist a little more by taking your right hand behind you. And on your inhalation, lengthen your spine, noting your sitting bones grounded. And on your exhalation, maybe the twist deepens a bit, but it's not necessary. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out completely. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands back to your knees. Bring your spine to neutral. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale. This time, take your right hand to the left hand over to the opposite knee and stay here or take your left hand behind you. Take a moment to ground and arrive into the shape. Inhale to lengthen a bit more and exhale maybe to twist a little bit deeper. Stay with your breath first and foremost. Everything else is optional. Everything else is secondary. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly let yourself return to center. Lean back a bit and bring your feet to the ground as narrow or as wide as you'd like. And you can bring the arms around the knees or perhaps underneath and let your head relax down for a moment. Maybe swaying a little side to side feels good for you. Perhaps stillness is what you rather tap into. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly lift your chest back up. Take a deep breath in, lifting your chest up toward the thighs. And on your exhalation, let your back round and lower your head down just for a moment. Now you could stay there, activating your core for a bit. Or if you rather, you can lift your chest here, stay with your feet on the ground, or start to lift your right toes off the floor as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower your right toes down. On your inhalation, maybe you lift your left toes up. And on the exhalation, lower them down. Now you could repeat that one foot at a time, or perhaps on your inhalation, you lift both. You could stay or lower on the exhalation. And again, inhalation, maybe you lift your left or both or neither. And on the exhalation, lower your toes far, a little bit farther from you. Let yourself lean forward. Draw the soles of your feet toward one another. Allow your knees to go open to the sides. Inhale to lift your chest. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold forward as little or as much as you want. Letting your head hang heavy for a moment. And perhaps mobilizing your spine from side to side, letting yourself sway, breathing in and breathing out. Noticing the spaces where you can soften. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your spine all the way back up. Draw your knees gently toward one another and perhaps give yourself another hug, relaxing your head down. Deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, lengthen your spine as well as your left leg. It doesn't have to be all the way straight. It could also be bent and bring your left foot over toward the right side. Draw your right foot a little further in and find stability here. So whatever works for you best, inhale. And on your exhalation, wrap your left arm around your right knee. 
and perhaps your right hand lands behind you. If the ground seems a little far, you could use your block and then take your hand to the block. Ground through your sitting bones, lengthen your spine, breathe in, and breathe out, perhaps twist a little bit deeper. One more inhale, and on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself back to center. Now extend both legs in front of you. You can keep your knees as bent as you want here. Send your arms up if you'd like, inhale. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold forward, but the intention here is not to go all the way to the toes or bring your knee to your nose. The intention is just to relax forward and down. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale. Slowly rise back up. Extend your right leg or wrap it under your left. And then bring your left foot flat to the floor. Lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, wrap your right arm around the left or around the left leg. And bring your left hand behind you. Breathe in. Breathe out, maybe to twist a little bit more. Notice the sensations that arise without any judgment. Again, how do you digest the moment? How do you connect with what's going on? How do you talk to yourself? Breathe in. And breathe out. On your next inhalation, come back to center. Extend both legs in front of you again, as little or as much as you want. If you want it to find a little more length through your spine, consider sitting on the edge of your blanket and keeping your knees bent and on your inhalation, lift both arms up. And on the exhalation, let yourself lean forward and down as little or as much as you want. Relax your head, inhale. And exhale. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly bring yourself up, lift your arms all the way up, deep breath in. And on your exhalation, bring your hands behind you. Your fingertips can face toward your knees if your shoulders feel fairly open, or they could start to dial out and back, however far you want to go. Draw your feet a little bit closer toward you, parallel to one another, press through your feet. And on your inhalation, lift your chest up toward your thighs. Or if you want to get your legs a little more involved, start to lift your hips off the floor, lifting your chest, your hips. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, and on your exhale, lower your hips all the way back down. Start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position, hands and knees. If your knees are sensitive, great place to make your blanket rather flat here. And then you can bring your knees on top of the blanket for support. Your hands can be flat, spreading your fingers wide onto the earth, or if you rather, you can make fists with your hands to keep your wrists neutral. On your inhalation, allow your, your tailbone to lift, your belly to dip, and your collarbones to widen. Exhale, round your spine and gaze down toward your navel. Inhale, lift your chest, open up the front body, gaze forward, up. Exhale, to round. One more, inhale, open up to the front body. Exhale, round your spine. Bring your spine back to neutral, inhale. And on your exhalation, if you have the blanket underneath your knees, you may want to move it to the side for now. And then bring the soles or the big toes together and your knees wide. Sit back toward your heels as much as you want to. You could bring your blanket between your sitting bones and your heels as well. And then perhaps a block is where your forehead lands or perhaps the ground. Feel free to extend your arms forward or back by your feet. And give yourself a few moments to settle into the posture, realigning with the rhythm of your breath. And perhaps with the intention you set for your practice or for your day. Take a deep inhalation, expanding into the back body. Spread out. Let your body melt toward the earth. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, start to bring yourself up from child's pose, aligning your knees, coming back to a tabletop position, moving your props to the side. 
And finding tabletop again, just take a moment here to really notice your core. So bring your attention to your belly button. You don't have to do anything in particular, just keep your attention there for a moment as you inhale and exhale. Notice the belly button draw away from the center as you breathe in and draw back in as you breathe out. One more, inhale. And exhale. Tuck your toes under, bring your hips back toward your heels. And as soon as you notice enough sensation, that's as far as you have to go. You don't have to go all the way back. Just notice the sensation through the soles of your feet. Perhaps stay here or to create more sensation, you can let your hands rest on your thighs. Elevating your torso, relaxing your shoulders and taking just a couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more, staying with the discomfort if it arises just for as long as you want to. No more, no less. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands back down, lift your toes off the floor, roll them one way and then the other. Bring yourself back to a steady tabletop, reconnecting with your center, with your navel. Inhale, take your right leg behind you. Your toes can stay on the floor or lift up. And on your exhalation, draw your right knee toward your chest. Feel free to drag your toes or lift them and then step your right foot between your hands. For some of us, we may have to grab the ankle with the hand and give it a little tuck forward and then press down firmly with your right foot. Bring your hands to the floor or to your blocks or maybe even to your right thigh as you let your chest lift up a little bit. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. And again, just reconnect with the center, with your core with your ability to expand and contract, no matter what arises. Stay here if you'd like, or perhaps press down onto your left hand and on your inhalation, reach your right arm forward, circle it all the way up, and follow with your gaze as it circles back, 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 and down. Feel free to do that two more times. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, circle it back and down. One more, inhale. Exhale, circle, and this time perhaps it stays reaching back and you gaze back toward your hand. You could also land your right hand on your hip and twist a little bit deeper. One more breath. Gaze forward and keep your hands on your blocks or on your inhalation. Maybe reach both arms up, noticing your stability or your wobbliness or somewhere in between. And exhale, take your hands down, take your right leg back. Move your hips side to side for a moment in your tabletop. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your hands toward your thighs, so remain on your knees. Feel free to bring your blanket underneath you for a moment. Hands to your low back, fingertips facing down toward the floor, toward the knee. Draw your elbows toward one another, draw your shoulders toward one another, and keep your gaze forward. Inhale to lift your chest up toward your chin. Exhale to press your hips gently forward, keeping the lift away from the low back. One more breath here. You don't have to go very far at all. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your spine to neutral. Bring yourself back to your tabletop position. And on your inhalation, send your left leg behind you. Your toes can float or stay on the floor. Exhale, draw your left knee in. Eventually bring your left foot between your hands. Take your time to get there. There's no rush. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Feel free to bring your hands to the floor, to your blocks your left thigh as you find yourself in this low lunge. Reconnect with your breath, reconnect with the moment. Stay here if you'd like or keep your right hand grounded onto the block or the floor however you feel more comfortable and on your inhalation reach your left arm forward follow with the gaze as it circles up and back and around. Two more of you'd like. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Let the hand remain extended behind you or perhaps it lands on your hip as you deepen your twist if that feels right for you. Not necessary. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. 
Take your gaze forward, frame your foot, or perhaps take a moment to inhale as you lift your torso and your arms up. And on your exhalation, lower your hands down to the floor. Left leg meets your right at the back of the mat. Bring yourself back to child's pose, big toes connected, knees wide. Perhaps make a bow with your hands or bring your forehead to a block or to the ground. Move your hips a little side to side. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly bring yourself up. Lift your torso. Draw your knees gently toward one another. Lift yourself away from the heels. Inhale. Take your arms up. Now, as you exhale, take your left arm forward and your right arm back and take a gentle twist toward the right. Notice here if your left hip wants to press forward as well. Draw it back a little bit more. Inhale, come back through center, reaching both arms up. Exhale, take the twist to the other side, this time drawing your right hip gently back. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Now, you can choose here to keep your hips stacked over the knees and walk your hands forward. Your forehead could float or come to the floor for puppy pose. Or if you rather... Take your hands forward, press them down, and then tuck your toes, lift your knees and your hips up and back, and find yourself in downward dog. So puppy pose or down dog. Or maybe you'd rather return to child's pose. Breathe. Notice what you notice. Where can you find space to settle and relax a little bit? One more inhale, and on your exhalation, walk your hands back toward your feet if you are in down dog, or walk your hands back toward your knees if you are in puppy pose. So perhaps you're standing at the back of your mat, perhaps you're on your knees at the back of your mat. So you can choose to do either. If you're seated on your inhalation, lift your arms up. If you're standing, same thing, on your inhalation, lift your arms up. And on your exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. Check in once again with how you feel. Inhale, exhale. Recognizing that your emotions also ebb and flow, that the physical sensations ebb and flow. And that when we can connect with add energy, when life begins to flow. Breathe in, sigh out. Start to bring yourself back to a tabletop or to a downward dog. Take a moment to find movement or stillness. Inhale and exhale. On your inhalation, start to lower yourself down to your abdomen, bringing your hands under your forehead, making a pillow. Taking your elbows wide, maybe moving your hips a little side to side here. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and exhale. Lift your forehead up. And as you lift yourself here, start to thread your left arm under your right. So you're kind of creating an X with your arm. And then maybe you stay there or wiggle yourself until you can let your chin rest on your right arm. And breathe. Just noticing the sensations on the shoulders now. One more breath. And then slowly leaning a little bit toward the left. Unraveling your arms and coming back to crocodile pose, making a pillow with your hands, resting your forehead down and staying in stillness. Or maybe this time, if you want to, you could bend your knees and wiggle your legs a little bit side to side. Just like windshield wipers. Breathe. One more breath. And then release your legs all the way back down. This time, lifting your chest and thread your right arm under your left. Of course, if you notice you already threaded this side, please thread the other. And then just take a moment to wiggle yourself until you can perhaps rest your chin on your arm. 
So get to a place where you can settle just with your breath, noticing the shoulders breath. Three. Is there any space for you to soften? One more breath, inhale. And then your exhalation, lean a little bit toward the right, toward the shoulder that's underneath. Move your hands. And this time, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, squeeze your elbows straight back, press through your palms, and on your inhalation, wave your spine slowly up, as high up as you want to go, it doesn't have to be very much. And on your exhalation, slowly wave back down. Two more like that, inhale to wave up. Exhale to come back down. One more inhale. And exhale, make a pillow with your hands and stay here. If you want to, you could draw your right knee out to the side, coming into a half frog. So creating an L shape with your right leg, allowing yourself to settle into your right inner thigh. Just seeing if you can evenly press through both hip bones so that your right hip doesn't hike up. One more breath. And then extend your right leg behind you again. If you lifted it, and let's do the same with the left. So feel free to slide your left knee out to the side as little or as much as you want. Maybe creating an L shape with your left leg. Noticing any tightness in your inner left thigh that you can soften into or release. One more breath. And slowly extend your left leg behind you, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bring your hips back. Bring yourself to tabletop. Or if you rather, you can find a down dog or a puppy pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Settle into whatever shape you chose. One more breath. Inhale, fill up your lungs. Release. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze toward the top of your mat. And whether your knees are down or not, take your feet toward the outside of your hands, turning your toes out and your heels in, coming into Malasana. So you could sit on a block if you want to. You could let your hips float. Your elbows come to your inner thighs and your palms can come together in front of your heart. Now, if this, for whatever reason, is not comfortable for you or you're not feeling it, you can sit down and do... Same posture, seated, right? So your feet are on the ground, your bum's on the ground, elbows are on your inner thighs, and lift your chest. So wherever you are, breathe. Noticing any tightness or discomfort, and see if just by breathing in and out, you can imagine that every exhalation allows you to release just a little bit more. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, if your bum's not on the ground yet, bring it down, bring your hands behind you, shake out your legs however you want, bringing some movement. One more breath. And once again, giving yourself a moment for a hug. Your feet can be as wide or as narrow as you want. Stay ahead, surrender forward. Your back can round as much as you want. And just give yourself a moment to consider the challenge you went through, perhaps recent or not, not necessarily, it's up to you, that perhaps seemed unsummonable, and yet you made it through. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze yourself a little. Maybe sway yourself a little with self-love, with self-compassion, knowing that you are resilient. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly lift your forehead back up, lift your spine up. Extend your right leg in front of you and draw your left foot to your inner right thigh. 
You can allow your left knee to remain open by itself. Or if you have a block, maybe you bring a block there. If you have your blanket, you could also sit onto your blanket and add a little bit more comfort onto the shape. Yeah, so just take a moment to notice what feels good for you. Readjust when you want to and when you need to. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. And on your exhalation, simply walk your hands forward. So you could keep your hands on your thigh and just walk them down the thigh. And again, it doesn't really matter how close your nose is to your knee. It's more about finding a sensation that serves you here. Perhaps it's on the back of your extended leg, perhaps your low back, left hip. What would give you most benefit and most space to soften right now? And how willing are you, choose, are you to choose ease over effort? Two more breaths here. And on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself back up. Now start to draw your left knee a little bit wider. So come into a wider seat. So your left knee is further out. Yeah, so it's almost like you're turning toward the long side of your mat, perhaps for some of us. You can stay seated on your blanket to keep that elevation on the hips or not, it's up to you. And if you have your block, perhaps you bring them in front and you take a moment to lengthen your spine as you inhale. And on your exhalation, let yourself go as forward as you want. Maybe landing on your blocks or on the floor and relaxing down. Breathe. Two more breaths here, connecting to the space created. To the resistance that you find. And to your ability to be with it all. On your next inhalation, bring yourself back up. Start to bring your right arm on top of your right leg. Lift your left arm up, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly slide toward the right. You don't have to go very far. Draw your right rib cage forward and your left rib cage back and maybe look up a little. And your left hand could land behind your head here. Breathe. One more inhale, exhale, bring yourself back up, land your left hand behind your left hip, look over your left shoulder and scoop your right arm overhead. You could stay here or press up and lift up, inhale, and on your exhalation slowly bring yourself all the way back down, perhaps extending both legs in front of you or shaking them out for a moment, whatever feels good for you. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now keeping your left leg extended, feel free to sit on your blanket here or keep your sitting bones on the ground and draw your right knee toward your inner left thigh. Lengthen through your spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly let yourself go as far forward as feels good for you today, according to your intention and what you need and what you're creating. Breathe. When the mind wanders, breathe. When the body shakes, breathe. When tightness arises, breathe. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. On your inhalation, start to rise back up. And again, this time, turning toward the longer side of your mind as you draw your right knee out and extend your left leg. Taking a moment to settle in, maybe bringing your blocks in front if you want to use them, breathe in. And as you breathe out, stay there or perhaps let yourself go forward a little bit or as much as you want to. But notice if as you lean forward, your sitting bones start to rise, make sure that your sitting bones stay grounded and that your spine remains long here. And just breathe. And 
exhalation. Start to bring yourself back up. Take your left arm on top of your left leg, reach your right arm up, round through your sitting bones, inhale. And on your exhalation, lean toward the extended leg. Noticing here if your chest collapses back. Make a conscious effort to find more space to the front body as you draw your left ribcage forward, your right ribcage back. Breathe. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, right hand behind your right hip, look over your right shoulder, left arm overhead, stay here, or press up, lift up, open, inhale. And on your exhalation, bring yourself all the way back down. Draw your knees toward one another, give yourself a hug, sway a little side to side. And bring yourself to a comfortable seated position to do our breath work, which is prana apana. For prana, we'll simplify it today. So for prana, the intention is to flip your palms up. And that is where we receive the breath of life, if you will. And apana is when we face our palms down. And that is where we release the energy. Yes. So start with either your palms up or down, whatever you feel like you need most today. Let yourself settle into the sitting bones, elongate your spine, relax your shoulders, and maybe slow your gaze down or close your eyes. Noticing the effect of the practice, of the movement, the breath and the awareness. And perhaps just at first notice what your breath is like. Let yourself follow the inhale and the exhale in and out of the nostrils. With the simple intention of observing. It doesn't matter if it's shallow or deep or rapid or slow. But once you find a rhythm of breath that perhaps feels grounding or energizing or whatever your intention aligns with today, I invite you to practice prana apana. So on your inhalation, you flip your palms up. And on your exhalation, flip your palms back down. Inhale, flip your palms up. Exhale, palms down. Inhale. Energy rises and expands and creates. Exhale, energy is released and transmuted and surrendered. Inhale. Remain with your own cadence just for a little bit longer. Letting any fluctuations of your mind only be the reminder that you want to return to right here, right now, with your breath. Time your palms are facing down, release the practice. And you can let yourself remain here just for a few moments as we finish today. Or if you rather, you could come two legs up the wall by bringing one hip to the wall. You could also do this freestanding wherever you are. 
by just lying down on your back and either extending your legs against the wall or simply letting them extend up. Maybe you bring a blanket under your tailbone for support. But again, if staying seated works for you today, that's a great place to be too. Consider any minute space where there's room for softness, where there was tightness. Where the story can be released, perhaps where the pain can be softened or put aside even if it's just the one breath. As always, my friend, if you have extra time, I invite you to remain in stillness wherever you choose to be for five more minutes. If it's time for you to move on with your day, if your legs are up the wall, start to bring them back down, maybe bringing your feet to the floor or gently hugging your knees to your chest for a moment, moving a little side to side. If you're seated, Start to move your neck or your arms or your fingers. And eventually we'll meet in the seated position of your choice. So give yourself time to get there, there's no rush. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees or once again, if it connects with you to take one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart, feel free to do that as well. And take a moment to acknowledge perhaps the shift in energy or anything that you can notice that your own practice, that your own choices, your own awareness has brought about and that you can be grateful for right now. Maybe it is more clarity or presence or space, whether it's mental or physical. Maybe it's a connection to that deep knowing that no matter what happens today, you can choose how you move through it, how you react through it all, how you digest your life. Take a deep inhalation through your nose, filling up front to back, side to side, front to bottom. And let go. a moment of gratitude and want to feel ready open your eyes i hope you enjoyed this movement breath work and meditation practice and that you found a little bit of space to reconnect with your body with your mind and with your energy i look forward to practicing with you again until then pause often breathe deeply and stay kind especially to yourself take care